fingers crossed. You want to try or, this? Or, try or, that. Or, or, or. Yeah. Well, I'll just try that for right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome back to the Dirty Glass. We uh, have been messing with a bunch of stuff down here, mm -hmm. and it, uh, we finally got something figured out where the video looks like. halfway decent, not too grainy, and we're not lit up like ghosts. No. That's nice. So it is it You is can see nice. everything. Yep. Look how clear this bottle that we're going to mm -hmm. taste is. Oh, what we're going to be drinking is uh, Puncher's Chance, Kentucky Straight <laughs> Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, but before we do that, I want to mention and give a big thank you to all of our patrons, um, all these people right here. Thank you for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Thank Absolutely. you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thank we're you, working thank on getting you. some stuff back to you guys, so mm -hmm. just be patient with us, please. And also, give us a like and a subscribe down there. It really helps us out. Um, share us with your friends and comment, like the videos, all the good YouTube stuff. I also want to mention World Famous Chef David was actually recently on a podcast. And I was going to put the You got to, it's got to happen in the beginning of every video. I'm going to put the, the link for that <laughs> podcast in the comments or in the about section of this um, video. Mm -hmm. No, said channel. In the about section or the description of this video. And it is an absolutely fantastic podcast. If you guys are into cooking and the local restaurants or anything else like that, you need to go give it a listen. It's absolutely fantastic, um, humorous, and very mm -hmm. charismatic. So today we're drinking Puncher's Chance, uh, which is Kentucky Straight Bourbon mm -hmm. Whiskey. And in a really, I mean, the bottle, I actually I think is really, really cool. It has a little thing on the, on the back I'm going to read. Uh, Puncher's Chance is Kentucky Straight Bourbon inspired by two great American traditions, whiskey and fighting for what we believe in. This bourbon is made with heart and honor for those who know how far they've come. For those who started early, stayed late, day after day, year after year. For those who have the courage and strength to do what others won't. I have no idea what that has to do with a tiger <laughs> in America. It's pretty No though. idea. But it makes for a pretty badass bottle. Yeah. It really does. It looks piratey is what we originally thought. Oh, yeah. Thought. This looks like something. Shiver me timbers. Give it to me, friends. <laughs> um, I, I absolutely love Give the bottle. Give me your booty. This looks really good. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. With heart and honor for those winning against all, ar all arts. Bourbon. Oh. <laughs> Arts. 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 <laughs> Shiver me too. Bourbon made with heart and honor. <laughs> for those winning against all odds. That's how I have See, to, it's it looks so like a, it looks like a cannonball. It really does. So that's yeah. Well. Oh. Uh, I loved you it. Thought it was good? I thought it was great. Oh, I didn't think it was very good. I'm a little tougher on it though. That was like a two point eight. Oh. Yeah. It's, I'd give it like a three point eight. Baby cork. Just a baby cork. Okay, but like a 3.8 in my cork. mind. I'm excited. See, now that smells like brown sugar and wood. It is, but nothing's too strong, like standing out mm. for me. Hmm. I actually like how woody it is the, on the nose. And it's like a slight. Is that grass? Mm, I'm not getting grass. <laughs> I get fresh cut grass. Whenever I think of grass, I just think of cows. <laughs> I, I always know. think of my lawnmower. M my oh, lawnmower. <laughs> lawnmower. I thought you said your mamoir. <laughs> I was like, oh, fancy. <laughs> I think of my mamoir. Hmm. <laughs> Hard to be thinking of my when I smell this bourbon. It's way better <laughs> as a pirate. <laughs> yes, a pirate yeah, whiskey. this just is made to be. It's not even rum. Hard we be tasting these bourbon. <laughs> Almost like hay, like straw. <laughs> Grass hay straw, I guess, is a little <laughs> little different, but <laughs> same, same, but not not. Get it? Oh, cheers! Cheers! Oh, I taste grass. It's the it's smell very, of a uh, farm, manure, grass, tastes hay, like cow shit. All of it. <laughs> A hundred percent. Her words, no not mine. Doubt. I don't think it tastes anything like that. <laughs> no, when you smell manure and it's like hay, grass-like. I'm impressed like that I'm impressed that you got that on the nose. I got zero mm -hmm. of that on the nose, but the taste was an instant. Just the taste is wood, straw, and almost um, like a rubbery, hmm. like a plastic note, like metallic. Is that metallic, I almost get maybe? more of a cherry, like a. Yeah, just it's so uh, it's woody straw. Mm. 
Just be wood <laughs> and straw, matey. Like my wooden leg. I don't know how to do an accent. <laughs> With my, like my wooden peg. <laughs> oh, there you go. See? You're just so good at it. <laughs> this bourbon give me a woody. Goodness gracious. See what I have to deal with? The show is starting to get more comfortable very fast, as you can tell. <laughs> starting to cuss. Parents are going to hate it. <laughs> Our moms are going to have a talk yeah. to us after this. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't be cussing on YouTube. <laughs> Our podcast. <laughs> oh. I'm getting a sweeter side on, like the finish. Oaky straw. But see the the. I, I would be willing to bet this is a little young. It drinks great oh. for 45. percent um, It's mm. it's what I'd expect a 45 percent whiskey Ooh. to taste like, um, as far as like the proof. Uh, distilled uh, and bottled uh, straight bourbon barts down Kentucky. No age statement on here, which means it's probably young. Um, I but just it doesn't a... drink like a really young whiskey. So the finish for me gets very sweet, very quick, and it does last. It's like a cherry bubble gum. Nope. <laughs> we need to pour more in both of our glasses. Mm -hmm. That's fine with what I have. <laughs> That's fine with what you have. <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> Now it's sweet on the nose for me. It's like I'm stuck. Like I got I got that cherry. It did. It softens the straw. Brings forward a little more. Mm. I can so I'm trying to find that that bubblegum note that you're talking about, but it's Maybe on the palate. It's just sweeter. No, it just toned down the harsh finish. That's all it did. For me. It almost took away the sweetness a little bit for me. Yeah. Which is it? like the opposite of what it usually does. Mm. Yeah. And palette's totally different today, apparently. Yeah, well, you know, wine before. Why no? <sighs> it's a weekend. I really like this, actually. Definitely for the price point. It was $24. Yes. Uh, for, that's what you're getting is a $24 bourbon. Um, not in a bad way. It's just, it tastes like it's 24 bucks, I guess. Uh, so for the price point, definitely not bad. Mm -hmm. And it's it's definitely flavorful. It definitely is. It's not too bland or too grainy. It's just that strawy, little sweet yeah. and heavy wood. Mm -hmm. um, maybe even you might even get some bubblegum notes. Cherry bubblegum, specifically. Uh, definitely a, a bottle I would buy again for $24, yeah. that's for sure. So It's very good. I, this I would like probably it. be good in, um, you know, so I would mix it in some cocktails mm -hmm. uh maybe not a manhattan uh old-fashioned it could i could see it adding some flavor too with the muddled cherries that could right in an old-fashioned you put cherries yeah you can muddle them in there yeah just put them in there mm -hmm. i think that blend well so yeah uh overall i think it's a halfway decent bourbon I'm halfway decent <laughs> I don't want to categorize it too much, but <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think it's bad for that. I like it. So, <clears throat> mm. pull you some more. All right, be having some more of this bourbon. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this later and be like, <laughs> "How much have you had why? a drink beforehand?" What? <laughs> None. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get out of here, if you guys want some sweet clothing like what we're wearing on the show, go ahead and go to our store at teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash the dirty glass and you can go ahead and check out some of our apparel we have on there um and also if you want to support the channel go ahead and go to patreon.com slash the dirty glass mm -hmm. and if that's your thing if you want to support us another way reach out to the show we always accept tastings and if you want to send us a bottle to taste here or recommendation mm -hmm. any feedback anything would be great mm -hmm. anything you guys want to see on the show let us know uh, or if you just want us to shut up also let us know it'd be great yeah we hope you guys are having a great day hope you're mm -hmm. drinking some whiskey taste away you dirty glass